DJ Black Barbie, you're yeah, my baby. I say all of me loves all of you. Love your curves and all your edges. All your perfect imperfections, yeah. What well, if it's a boy, Mr. Lex, representing for Black Barbie, you know, so she's a real friend. Big up on a friend from you, know, so your friend. From you, a friend to your friend. Wicked! Yeah, man, I'm in Virgo, I represent for Black Barbie. And keep it locking on, don't move, see? I'm a tall of the strong one, and you're locked into DJ Black Barbie. Yeah, you don't know, this is the girl, the angel, representing for Black Barbie. Don't get it twisted. DJ Black Barbie, big up yourself, Chris Martin and Dawson to the fullest. Never change, never separate. Black Barbie, a thing I die alone to the girl. Yeah. One Love Radio, as I mentioned to you guys before, I have a very, very special guest live inside the building. Yes, you just dive in our catalog just a little. Of course, she got some real hot, hot singles under her belt. But of course, I have to say, Kendra, welcome to One Love Radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got to get the mic right, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited to be here. Big up yourself, DJ Black Barbie. I'm just so excited to be here, man. Uh, uh, let me tell you, let me tell you. <laughs> I am so, so proud of you. Of course, and I have to say, you know, to give a little backstory, we are industry mates. Yes. You know, yes. uh, Kendra is super talented. She's multifaceted, of course, in this music industry. Um, you know, she interviews, she does uh, film production, she does makeup. I mean, the, the list goes on. You want a nice music video, she can definitely direct and do that for you as well. But now she have definitely dive into a different field, which is being behind the mic in a different way. In a different Not interviewing way. the artist. <laughs> but being, of course, an artist herself. Yes. So I'm curious, tell us the reason why you decided to transition into music and what inspired you. For sure. So I always, always wanted to do music. I was just, you know, afraid. That was really it. So I tried to do everything around music, which is why I started with, first I started with filmmaking and then you s we met during, uh, you know, my on-air correspondent days. I wanted mm -hmm. to be as close to the music as possible without actually doing it. But then I got turned down uh, when I was trying to pitch a uh, film to uh, actually Shaggy's team, and it really discouraged me. And I was just like, man, it just knocked me down. I was like, okay, I don't feel fulfilled. Why don't I feel fulfilled? And I really had to be honest with myself. It was like, because girl, you don't want to interview. You want to do it. Mm -hmm. So do it. Mm. And that's really what it was. It took a leap of faith mm -hmm. and it was scary and it still is scary sometimes. But now I know, you know, I have God back in me. Mm -hmm. And without, you know, with God, nothing can stop you. So here we are. Most definitely. And um, was it the incident with Shaggy that actually just pushed the music forward or that happened prior before you decide to take the leap? It happened prior, mm -hmm. and you know, nothing against Shaggy. Shaggy's amazing. Yes, big up to Shaggy, amazing. our past guest. Yes, yes. But awesome, you know, awesome, yes. Prophecy, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Everything mm -hmm. happens for a reason, mm -hmm. and it's so crazy because I just uh, wrapped a film that Shaggy uh, executive produced, and it premiered at Tribeca Film Festival. Mm. And it, that was when I was sitting behind Shaggy, actually. I didn't, I wanted to tap him and be like, listen, <laughs> hello. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Yes. For real. But I was like, you know, I was just, I said a silent prayer and I was like, God, take this chip off of my shoulder mm. and let me be here and, and get and receive the word that I need right now. Mm -hmm. And it was so beautiful because the film itself is called um, Bad Like Dan uh, Brooklyn Dance Hall. Bad Like Brooklyn Dance Hall. And mm -hmm. amazing. Amy and Ben um, directed it and produced it. Shaggy, of course, executive directed it. And it was a fabulous opening night. Ding Dong perform, um, Red Fox, and um, oh my gosh, I'm missing Red oh. Fox and Screechy Don. There you go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> They performed and it was amazing, and it actually sold out the whole three uh, first shows. So it was interesting to see that you think you got beat down, but mm -hmm. you just were pivoted. Right. You know what I mean? So I was able to turn my focus to my passion and mm -hmm. still be able to contribute to the media of dance hall in a positive way and in, 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 in an international way. So everything worked out beautifully. 
Most definitely. And of course, you're always in the right room with the big stars. You know, you know? So, um, of course, you know, we can always get teaching lessons, but, you know, Shaggy is just like a stepping stone. And sometimes we need something to motivate us to Absolutely. get into where we need to be. Because sometimes we're so focused on one avenue and we don't realize that our gift is actually taking us to where you need to be. And I have to say that with your talent. Because, Kendra! <laughs> Uh, let me say this. I did not know this was in you Yo. at all. But your you know, voice. I knew it. I knew it. Your <laughs> voice. And I, yes, and, and I'm glad that you actually decided, of course, to come to the forefront. But I know that you're still doing media, right? Yes. So how, how is that juggling going for you? Well, it works out. It's beautiful. I feel like I paid my dues for a long time doing media. Mm -hmm. So now I've developed the contacts where if I say, hey, I want to cover this event, um, I don't get as much pushback as I did before. Mm -hmm. But wherever I go, I'm still championing, championing mm -hmm. my music. So for instance, you know, I, I covered BRT Weekend in Jamaica this year in March. And you know, I went there and I covered it for Car Her Ken TV, which is my media, uh, com well, which is the show from my media company, Busta Blank. Mm -hmm. But I also went down there as Kendra, the artist. Okay. So when I was interviewing um, Noah with the power, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, he, he thought it was funny. He was like, well, you wasn't dancing because your makeup isn't, you know, done. Your makeup is still pristine. I'm like, well, you know, I'm a big makeup artist, okay? So don't. Yes. My face is never going to drop. It's going to beat. Exactly. But mm -hmm. also, I told him, nah, but I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. And from there, he was like, all right, so DJ something. And it automatically was a, 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 such a cool, beautiful moment. And you know mm -hmm. how those impromptu moments Most, happen. Yes. You know, and he's just doing a one drop rhythm with the snap in. I'm like, <laughs> and it worked. You yes, know? yes. So I'm all, it's beautiful. And I, I actually said this to myself before I started really going 100% with my music is I've been blessed to be gifted with different things. I mean, you know, like an equation, one mm -hmm. plus one mm -hmm. equal two. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to use your media, you have to use your filmmaking, you have to use your music knowledge, you have to use all of the things that God gave you to mm -hmm. equal the passion and the dream that he placed in your heart. You can't, you can't subtract one and think you're going to get the, you know, the sum. Facts, facts. So that's what I'm doing. So wherever I'm at, I'm all things. And I have to say, I did see that video with you and Noah. <laughs> and I thought it was so amazing. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm watching and saying, yeah, she's an artist. Like, yes, yeah, she is. And, you know, I, I was just, it's like watching it because, of course, I hear your music. We play your music here on One Love Radio. But, you know, it's just to see the reaction because, mm -hmm. you know, you look, I'm looking, watching the video. I'm like, yeah, she's talented. And I know when you hear the voice, you're going to be like, oh, re whoa. And, and you got that. And your yeah. sound, but I, I'm glad that you actually mentioned, you know, with you being in media, it's almost like you get the formula too yes. of how to be an artist, what is required, how to conduct yourself, everything. So everything. the cheat sheets. Okay. Because <laughs> even when I um, when I was driving here, I'm like, yo, what, what should I say? What should I'm like, girl, <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> Yes. Cut it out. <laughs> what would you want the art when you when you are interviewing artists? What would you wish, you know, they would do or they would say or how they would act, mm -hmm. and also just be yourself. So, right. I'm just happy that I've had that training because mm. that's really what it is. You think it's one thing, mm -hmm. but it's preparation for the next season. So I'm Most so definitely. happy. You know what I mean? Most definitely. Yeah. And of course, with uh, the relationships that you make. Um, you know, it'd be good to easily get into, hey, I want to do a little collab. You know, can I get a collab here? You know, how you would think. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because, of course, we, we know it, it's it's going to be tough because, you know, people will think that, oh, are you just trying to use me or, you know, to get on? But I feel like, of course, and I'm, I'm saying this to you right now on ear, that you are going to be the next big thing. Oh, like man. your voice to me, of course, you know, and big shout Thank out, of course, so Brooklyn, Brooklyn native. And you are giving me the new genre for our Foxy Brown. I don't know if you ever heard that before. But it's, it's, times, but it's, it's one okay. of the best compliments, compliments yes, it's one that of the you best can comp receive. Exactly. Foxy is not mm -hmm. easy. She is one of the best, if not the best, best. to ever do it lyrically. Mm -hmm. Her tonality, mm -hmm. uh, her just the way that she comes on amazing and all of her all of her verses are 100 percent memorable and classic and legendary like 
listen, without a doubt. No, no one else remixed how mm-hmm. she brown nigga. Uh, yeah, and it's, I was gonna say it's the delivery <laughs> though. It's you're giving me like you, you know you you're giving me the uh. But yeah. you're giving me sex appeal at the you same know, time. She's such a lady. Yeah, you know. I'm such a lady. Yeah, yes. Yes. Y- you're killing it. And like Thank I said, you. the next big thing, all right? Listen, from your mouth to God's ears, DJ. Listen, we say to, to Hood Celebrity and by the three days later, Hood know. Celebrity you became, know. you know, Christina, and she, she can attest to that. Because I said it to her, I said, listen, you're going to be the next big thing out of the Bronx. Mark my word. I said it to her, bloop. She said, you said it, sis. And big shout out to Hood Celebrity, of course, because, yes. uh, you know, she definitely showed me crazy love. She invited me to her birthday party yes, in, in Manhattan. And I was amazing. like, yeah, I'm like, you know, I'll be there, sis. Without a doubt, I'm going to be there for you. So, you know, I'm proud. I'm proud of that. And, of course, it's important for, you know, you as an artist, like when you make it big, to keep a certain uh, aesthetic to yourself, like a humbleness. Like, right. you know, you, you still have to watch out because there's going to be people that try to use you. Mm-hmm. But then you also have to, like, you know, still be humble and remember where you're actually coming from. Absolutely. So I'm curious, what is your main goal with your music career? My main goal is to master my voice. Mm. When I started uh, writing my album, I had, you know, I'm, I'm a very pen to paper type of person. I put goal, make $5 million. And I was like, make an album I love. Because mm-hmm. when that happens, mm-hmm. then all, all of the monetary gain and all that things will come. Mm-hmm. Because I have no choice but to promote it because I love it and I put 100% into it. Mm-hmm. But what I really want is to live my life through the mastery of my voice. Mm-hmm. And be that, you know, vocals, rapping, DJing, um, orating. Mm-hmm. I want to master my voice. Yes. Yeah. Listen to me. Like I said, your voice is top tier to me already. Okay. And of course, you are, you know, you have the Caribbean descent. Yes. What island are you also representing? Yes. So I am half Bayesian and half Jamaican. So mm-hmm. I have a nice, nice little blend. Yes. Mix curry, up and blend, blend. A nice little curry <laughs> flying fish type of yes. curry, you know? <laughs> I love, love, love that. And again, in case you're just tuning into One Love Radio, you have a lock with your girl, DJ Black Barbie, my very special guest artist live inside the building the one and only the beautiful and super talented kendra the interview is definitely not over i just want to get into another one of her singles yes because she is representing brooklyn i we say nyc all day every day big up to all our brooklynites (laughs) but yes check out this single right now and we'll be right back so make sure you keep where you got it this is one love radio all right we just are gonna lick we're gonna lick we just still get a lot still but i have to say love love this can you feel the hardcore she is bringing us back to the 90s it is a vibe I'm telling you, straight, straight vibe. So what actually inspire your music? Hmm. You know what? All right. Foundation, roots first. My parents are avid dancehall and reggae listeners and soca listeners. My father's actually a sound man. He had his own sound system. Mm. Big six-foot tweeter box in the living room. Like, that's how I grew up. All my male members of my family... Our DJs, they have their own sound systems. Big up DJ Daily Bread in Barbados as well. Uh, so I loved and grew up. If you know me personally, Beanie Man is that guy for me. Like, I know all his, when I say I know all his music, mm-hmm. I know all that man music. I love him so much. I think he is a master. That was, that's someone, I believe, mastered their voice and mastered their instrument and mastered their gift. That man has been everything. That he man has been doing talent. music since mm. he was 10 years <laughs> old. Okay? Mm-hmm. So that is the type of mastery that I, that I aspire to. So when I'm sitting down and I wanted to do music, he's my foundation. The way that he uses his voice inflections, the way that he has his own ad libs that are, you know, distinct to his eras. Because, you know, he has different Ad libs yeah. for different eras. Oh God, like that's a yeah. different type of uh, yes. From, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's different. Yeah. So you know which one. You know what I mean? So, yes. So mm-hmm. I think about that. I think about you know what am I trying to say? Mm-hmm. Because I have some you know sexual songs, and as I grow as a woman, 
my music is evolving you know what i mean so when i first started it was very lusty it was it was very fearless and bold in that regard mm -hmm. but now i'm trying to figure out as i grow what is it that i want to say to people what is it that i want to say to young girls what is it that i want to say to you know men as well like in the brooklyn ish i'm saying call me a woman not a female mm -hmm. but bring that cash here like retail Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> she got bars. Okay. She got bars. Talk to me. So I'm curious, being that, of course, you decided to go to in a different genre, which is rap, you know, mm -hmm. compared to having the Caribbean background and we'd expect like some dance or reggae. But yes. I mean, your voice is just international rap song, period. Thank you. Do you actually feel the pressure to how the American industry is and how the new genre well, new age, I would say, um, female rappers are. Do you feel the pressure to have to be, you know? No pressure at no all. Pre I'm comfortable. Mm. I'm so comfortable. And I would have done dancehall and, and like Caribbean music, but mm -hmm. my, you know, my accent is just not there. Mm -hmm. And it's cringy to Brooklyn hear. Born. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Brooklyn born, but the, <laughs> but the sauce is very, very, Real. you know, stewed. It's yes. stewed up. But, or stew down. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's very cringy to hear an American trying to twang it out. Like, mm -hmm. I have a little, you know, I have little things that I say on a day to day, you know, when I'm conversing. Mm -hmm. But to put it on record, I know it's going to sound a little strange. Like you're trying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would have to, you know, live in the island a little bit more instead of just. <laughs> You know, this is in. But you know, some Brooklyn are the melting pot. Yes, like, yes. All, all of the islands. We is have, there, that's what I'm know? saying. Like, we have Got little. Canarsie. <laughs> little Canarsie as Best well. Style. We oh, have, oh, that's what I'm saying. We yeah. have a nice little mixture, but it's still, it's not authentic. <laughs> mm. So I'm not going to put it on for it to be, you know, right. something that's not, which is why right. anytime that I am doing music, I always waistline West Indian. Mm -hmm. I have a song um, called crystal clear that's on the bonnie and shine rhythm so i'm still rapping but i'm rapping on rhythms and i still mm -hmm. want to continue to do that like yes. i want to put out a i'm going to put out a project where i'm toasting and singing on rhythms you know the limousine rhythm and a far east rhythm and showtime and all them things like mm -hmm. i still i still dj on them rhythms but i'm not going to just force you know, a, a horrible accent. Yeah, but I like the I like the path, the direction that you're going in. Um, you know, the whole like I said, you got that international rap zone, and I think Thank that's you. just that's you, and and we're feeling that. So of course, we wouldn't want you to kind of change it. Uh, you know, or right. water down who you are. So, and I feel like you know, you being that you're doing the rap, and it sounds so like I said, clear. Um, having those collaborations with the Jamaican or Caribbean Ooh, artists and soca artists it. would be powerful, you know? Yes. And they do it a lot. You know, the hip hop artists tend to collab with the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that mixture My is dream? just ideal. <laughs> My dream. I, yeah. have a, I have a record that I'm going to Barbados for crop over mm. um, the end of this month. So one of the goals when I get down and I touch down is to find Alison Hines camp. Because I have a song that samples my... F this is the first song that I learned to walk up to. Mm. Like, it's very near and dear to my heart. But I'm sampling Ragamuffin. Oh. And <laughs> when I tell you, it's fire. Mm. I need to... So, listen, Alison Hines, people, if, if you're her cousin, her baby daddy, sister, friend, who, if you're listening, put mm. me in touch. I might, uh, you know, big, big shout out to my dupes, I obtained with my, because he just did a song with Alice and I, so I don't know, I might try to reach out and see, like, you yes. know, can I get a contact and see, see what we can do, you, you see, know, we see what I we can do. I was one of my first ever interviews. With Alice. Yes. Mm. No, I obtained. I obtained. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. So okay. he was always so gracious, so hopefully, yes. what? Yeah. Let's make it happen, I obtained. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I miss you. So, so speaking about that, because I know you mentioned, uh, you know, looking up to Beanie Man. You have interviewed Beanie Man. Yes, that was okay. my first interview ever for mm. Call Her Ken TV, and I did it that way on purpose. I was like, if I can get through an interview with someone that I revere and admire so much, I mm -hmm. can interview anybody. anybody. Mm -hmm. But the only other person that I ever got like starstruck with was spice and i was oh. listening <laughs> i could not even speak big up spice. spice like i didn't even realize how much mm. i loved her mm. until i was like in her face and i'm like a blue, 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 just stumbling over my words and she's like girl come on get it together <laughs> <laughs> 
Big up to my Leo Big sis Spice. Spice. And the big sense. Queen of the dance hall. Queen. Oh, wow. So is there any other memorable moments, interview moments you have with any other artists? Because, uh, of course, we want Radeland to understand that you've been in this industry for a yes. very long time. Mm -hmm. You know, we work side by side with each other. So mm -hmm. I just want everybody to just get that full grasp of who you are. Hmm. A really, a really great one that I loved. Mm. Uh, I, I forget. It was when we were doing... We were in Queens. That that that's. Oh man. You know, I was I was trying to figure the Brooklyn show. I know that it will. Beanie Man was there. Egyptian was there. Oh, that I, show. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna put them on a the spot like that. But I will, you know what? Let's talk about that. So. <laughs> we got some stars. We, we got some. some yeah, tea. Tea, yes. <laughs> so that was the Brooklyn show, and Beanie Man was uh, performing with other artists but I remember was the time that he dropped the song with Bouncy that was the first I was around that first time that they dropped I think it's called Legendary yes yes, yes that yes. that was the first time around that time they dropped that song so I was trying to get some sort of statement some sort of something on record from him about you know that song mm -hmm. and um, his security I I've developed you know a nice little relationship with him and then he was just like yo just wait <laughs> until he gets off stage i'm like all right cool i'm not gonna push it mm -hmm. when the man get off stage you don't want to talk to nobody you want to go home, home exactly <laughs> so you always got to interview before the performance you not after me, yeah. but you know mm -hmm. i think he set me up <laughs> for failure at that time uh -huh. but you know it's never the artist no. it's always their people around yes, the entourage. It's, it's always their entourage so mm -hmm. someone in his on his team mm -hmm. saw me waiting around and I didn't end up getting the quote from him. Mm -hmm. And understandably, you know, the man was just tired and sweaty and ready to go. He did his piece. Now he got to go home. I totally understand Facts. it. Mm -hmm. But I spent my last <laughs> to get there. Uh -huh. And I didn't have no means of getting home. And his, yeah. And his, someone from his team was like, oh, yeah, just, you know, come to the hotel. Come to the hotel. And mind you, I'm very young. I was yes. very young at the time. Mm. And um, I was like, ew, get out of here, Grandpa. Like, yeah. absolutely mm. not. Mm -hmm. So I was like, but can he please, you know, can I get the quote? That's, I was just focused on the, you know, on working. And I didn't mm -hmm. think that at the time they Being were used to. Yes, mm -hmm. they were not used to women you like you and I who yeah. were there strictly to For work. Biz, yeah. You know, they mm -hmm. really tried to Finesse. manipulate yeah, and mm -hmm. manipulate mm -hmm. and take advantage of the fact that they thought I was young and stupid, stupid. and dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. But then That's what was, they do to pretty girls. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And um I was like, you know, I'm on my way home. He was like, Well, I'll pay for your, your cab, you know, to get to where you're going. I'm like, Oh, that's nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then he was like, so you not coming to the hotel? I was like, no, I'm going I just told you I got to go home. And he was like, well, eh, I don't know how you getting home, but you, you ain't coming here. <laughs> so that was just, and it was in the middle of nowhere. Somewhere yeah, in Brooklyn, yeah. uh, Flatlands or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, where the cool effect used to keep. Yes, yes. I forgot what's the name of it. I forget that place. Too. But they keep a lot of uh, events at that location. Yes, but you know... You know who looked out for me? One Love, <laughs> 106.3, <laughs> DJ Barbie. DJ Black Barbie said, <laughs> my girl, get in the car. <laughs> what are you doing? You just standing there. You don't know what. <laughs> I'll take you home. And I always remember that, and I was so thankful because mm -hmm. I think I even said, I, I feel like, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to hold you, I feel like I said a prayer right before, and then like, God, I don't know how I'm going to get home, but please let me get home safe and sound, please. And then she <laughs> rolled down her window. You ain't got no, get in the car. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are so, so welcome. But, um, you know, boy, and, and it's weird because I didn't even know all of that was going on with you. Um, you know, but of course, I'm the kind of person that I like to look out for other people. If I can help, I'm going to help. It's just Blessing. within my, my nature. And I'm always going to be that way. Because I would have had to walk home yeah. <laughs> to Coney Island from there. Um, oh, my. Coney yeah. Island. Oh, yeah, okay. Lord. That would, that, yeah. Yeah. So that would have been you. a, yeah. <laughs> but I have to say this for females that's coming into the industry that, you know, I always say laugh off everything. Laugh off everything and stay true to you and don't give up your body because you don't need to. 
um not trying to get to where you need to be and you you again having been in the industry for a while is having this as your formula to know what not to do to get to where you need to go right because we all understand that reputation is everything in this music industry and a lot of people don't understand that mm -hmm. and you don't want to have a bad reputation so you have to sustain that right and keep your body to yourself mm -hmm. <laughs> and preserve it yes and always yes. I always said i always wanted to be able to look people in the eye and not you know look down or oh they have something so against over me. you mm -hmm. you know or i carry you know a story so for yeah. me or no 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 and it's easy for people to actually gossip because like we said the industry is small mm -hmm. people know each other believe it or not so you don't want to have that kind of bad reputation so you know just keep your head up girls and of course you you're getting into that industry where you know you're going to transition over to the international market and it's like that over there it's like that over there you know especially as a female right. where they will try to blackball you because we already hear ashanti what happened to ashanti right. already with her single and it happened with a lot of female artists mm -hmm. so it's, it's like you have to have a strong mind and you have to be patient focus. yes because that's what it is when you try to go around the journey easy Take it exactly easy. Like mm. it's it's strenuous and it's long for a purpose mm. and if it's if i can't get this by maintaining my integrity, then it's something not for me. And I'm all right with that. Mm. I'm so okay. I've gotten to a point where not everything is for me. Right. And I'm cool with that. Yes, yes. Absolutely. You got to have patience. That's the key word, patience, when yes. it comes to your career and your craft. when it's your time? Nobody can talk to okay. you. Nobody. And since nobody can speak to you, right now we're going to go on that vibrator Ooh. right here on one love radio yes make sure you guys keep it where you got it it's your girl dj black barbie my very special guest kendra is live inside the building check out whoa, our whoa. vibes <laughs> yo i'm telling you your voice your voice your voice kendra your voice <laughs> thank you, thank she you. got the talent so what actually inspires this single and this collaboration with this artist yeah so uh what happened now so Lorenzo Breeze, who is the featured artist on this, and he's also the producer. So he had this beat, and he said that he wanted it to give uh, baby and Megan type of vibe. But I already had the hook already written in my notes, because I, I like passed a map, and I saw Naples in Italy. And I was like, that, that sound like, you know, <laughs> I don't know if I can say that here. But no, okay, got it. <laughs> so, the, you know, it sounded like the other body parts. So I was like, I can't. I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to play with that. Mm. So I was like, ooh, you know, my in Naples, suck on my in Naples, and I was like, all right, all right, I like that. I like the bold. I like that. It's shocking, mm -hmm. um, and let's build from there. So when he gave kind of the the vibe and the the attitude that he wanted, I was like, all right, let's do this. Mm -hmm. So the sound, the hook is very explicit, well, especially that that line is very explicit. But if you listen to my verse mm. is clean mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's i did that purposely i wrote this for radio mm -hmm. and i also wrote this for people to reflect on their own relationship with sex mm. because it shows and it, it shows more about them than it does about me mm. i had a uh, shop owner like have a meltdown <laughs> when i say have a meltdown a mm. meltdown mm. this is disgusting turn this off and um it was interesting because again my verse has no curses in it has nothing in it you know no explicit lyrics metaphors you know because <laughs> we are storytellers Deller, yes. exactly yeah but it just goes to show the relationship that us as you know americans have mm -hmm. with s our sexual nature mm -hmm. and again that e that evolved from me from that time to now, because mm. my own relationship with my sexual nature is like different now. Mm. But the song is fire. Yes, and it every is. time I hear it in the club, mm. you don't know how to act. <laughs> I can I, only imagine. I wrote it for that. <laughs> but how do how do you actually feel about the reception of your music thus far? Uh, that's a great question. So I just feel like I need to go harder. I feel like I still need to grind. I feel like people just need to hear it mm. so i'm doing all of the you know annoying promotion that artists may not want to do when they hire out mm -hmm. but again i feel like everything 
is a purpose and it has some sort of learning lesson behind it. So I'm going, so for instance, I actually just did a Google form for feedback. Mm, and that's yeah. what I just sent to you. <laughs> And that's, yes. you know, courtesy <laughs> of the cheat code from Rap Coalition and Sandy Day. Mm -hmm. And they advised for artists to, you know, instead of just going into these DJs' inboxes and DMs talking about, you know, let's work. Mm -hmm. Like, really have a presentation for them to provide, pr uh, to provide great feedback for you to take mm -hmm. and actually use it. Mm -hmm. So I did that, and I sent it to every single DJ that was following me. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot. Mm -hmm. And I did get, I think out of, out of 50 mm -hmm. cent, I have now six people that, uh, that completed it, yourself included. Mm -hmm. And if I had not done that, I would not be here right now. <laughs> and I would not have yeah. six different perspectives mm -hmm. of industry DJs, like these mm -hmm. are people that play parties. These are people that play on the radio. These are mm -hmm. people whose perspectives are so um, important and so valuable. Mm -hmm. I would not have that, mm -hmm. and I don't mind. I'm, I'm fearless in that regard. I would talk to anyone about my music because I know I've put in so much uh, quality. I put in so much money. I put in so much time. Mm -hmm. So who else but me to tell you the amazing things that I'm working on? And if you don't like that, if you don't like it, that's cool. Mm. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. I like the way she said that. But Watch your mouth. But um, are you on like TikTok and stuff? I'm on TikTok. TikTok. I'm not mm -hmm. on TikTok as much as I should. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you definitely should be because I feel like um, because I know I, I I go on a lot of um, Zoom call for Death Jam. Great. So, but I see with those rappers, you know. Some of them, most of them, but, you know, except for, you know, a few that's already, like, well-known, um, you know, they do have, like, a certain following. And I think that's what a lot of the record label kind of look for, right. for you to have that buzz for them to, like, take notice. But no worries. Um, of course, I'll, I'll send your information to, you know, people yes. that I have the email address to, certain DJs. So I do have a TikTok challenge, though, out right yeah. now. Mm. So definitely follow me at K-A-L-L Her Ken, K-A-L-L Her Ken on TikTok, mm. and you can see it. And it's a nice, cool uh, choreography mm -hmm. from this young lady. Uh, her dancer name, oh my goodness, is All Eyes on Prey, and she's mm. amazing, amazing. She just had a baby. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. But she's a great dancer, and mm -hmm. it's really, really fun. And we're going to do it when I go to crop over and everything. So just stay tuned because the content is coming. Okay. Yes. 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 Because as you say, you know, you got to keep uh, promoting, promoting, promoting yourself as an artist. So, and don't feel shy with it. And I, and, I, and I think, you know, it's also going to be important. Like um, when you go to the events and you're actually interviewing, I think you need to make sure that you're being interviewed on the media networks that is actually there. So it's, it's almost like you're going to have to try to be multitasking mm -hmm. at the same time. But, you know, we need for the people to take you serious because they know you as, you know, Kendra, the, in, you know, right, the exactly. TV host. But we need them to see you as the artist because they're not hearing your voice. Right. So I know a lot of times, you know, people say, sing on the spot. You yeah. know, sometimes you're going to have to, like, try to, like, put that into the interview I think they just need to hear you. Yeah, that's instead really of what it, it is. Yeah, instead of it just being like, you know, I'm an artist because it's then like, prove really it. listen, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm betting on you. Yes. I'm betting on you. Okay. You Which is single all your bet money. on. You yes. You all the money, yeah? Like, <laughs> for real. That's no, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen because, listen, you're a Caribbean, uh, you know, you're Caribbean descent, but you have uh, that international clarity like i said the delivery everything in your voice is just amazing and i can hear it i can hear you on those singles those collab with the nikki's the drake everyone Man. because you are that talented and i'm Thank not you. trying to hype you up I'm, I'm telling you that that's that's what your sound gives like you. you know the way that you legit. listen the way that you feeding me right now <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that, it's beautiful because you know you a lot of hours, a lot of dollars, a lot of everything mm -hmm. go into it, and you're just wondering like, dang, like when is when it gonna happen? Gonna, when yeah. is it gonna happen? But to know that it's landing mm -hmm. the way that I would like to is 
amazing so thank yeah. you so much yes you just gotta keep putting those visual out um your visuals your visuals are amazing uh, um, obviously because you. you know you have that background so you yes. know what you know but boy i'm not telling a lie when you're dancing or that's something that mr wow <laughs> I, I was like god this is a different side of kendra like but you see here's but the i thing. love it yes thank you thank you but here's the thing people love to put me in, in a one box. category mm. but my personality and who i am just period is mm. you you can't put me in a box you can't confine me mm. i am free Mm-hmm. And I am a creative. It's something that you have to experience. Mm-hmm. And when I'm on stage, oh, man, it is the best feeling ever. Mm-hmm. And I've been on stage from young, from young. Mm-hmm. And that's something that I love. Actually, I'm going to tell you, when I was five, mm-hmm. I had I got a vision. I got a vision from God. This is real talk. Mm-hmm. And I looked down, and I had on thigh high boots that had sequin thigh high boots now i'm five years old i don't know what thigh <laughs> high boots i don't know what thigh high boots are uh-huh. but i looked down and i was watching the spice girl documentary and i looked down and i had thigh high red sequin boots and i was in a stadium mm. and everyone was like ah and i was I, it brought me to tears oh. so much and again i'm five i don't know these type of big emotions you mm-hmm. know so i know it had to be from god yeah and i kept that tucked in my heart for a long for the longest Mm -hmm. and which is why it it led me to do the media led me to do film it led me to do all these things but then i was like all right i gotta am i gonna trust what god showed me and work towards that dream or am i just going to try to do my own will Mm -hmm. and try to do a half version of that in my own my own creation no i'm going to humble myself and I'm going to trust God. And I know he's going to put me in that stadium. And I'm going to have them thigh high boots on. Yes. Okay? Even yes. if I don't make them myself. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, I got a, I got the red sequence thigh high boots. What do you know? Okay. So. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm so, 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 so happy. So Thank it's just, you. you know, it was just innate in yes. you that, you know, this is the path that you're supposed to go on. So I'm glad that you actually decided to take that journey because you needed to. Thank so you. I'm curious, are you working on an EP that the yes. fans can be on the lookout for? I am working on an EP. It's called The Legend of Kendra. Mm -hmm. And uh, God willing, it will be out this year, but I'm taking my time with the visuals. As you know, I direct my visuals. I edit them. I do not hire filmmakers to Mm -hmm. do that. That's something that I have a degree in, Mm -hmm. so I don't believe in doing that. I made sure (laughs) to, you know, study. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I study to make sure I can be intentional with the visuals. So I'll, I'll take the time it needs to be able to deliver a really great piece of visual body work mm. um, I'm really excited about a song called Flossy mm. and it's really I'm really in my storytelling bag and it's about uh, a, such a true story about an ex-boyfriend who put me in a very very compromising situation with the law mm. and it talks about you know uh, or critiquing rather the relationship we have with that ride or die culture mm-hmm. right and it's not ride or die with nobody no okay. every t- listen every so time i got I kids ro- okay, thank <laughs> you so this is something that i wish that i would have known mm-hmm. but i learned that wisdom through this very very scary situation mm-hmm. and it took me 10 years to talk about it that's how real it was that's how serious it was mm-hmm. so again so me describing this song you can only imagine what the visual is going to be Mm. so we're going to take our time with that and you just look out for it also i am in a film called just food and it is been doing such a great job um in the film festival circuit and right Mm -hmm. now it's going to be at the hip-hop film festival in nyc in Mm -hmm. august i believe august 6th to the 11th i'm mm-hmm. sorry to august 11th to the 20th august mm-hmm. 11th to the 20th so it's called just food mm-hmm. and the director is sean and alana they did an amazing job and i'm in it with my nice little you know so i'm an actress as well okay, mm-hmm. okay. so what's your acting career take off before the music what if yes ah then we're gonna go with that mm. we're gonna go with that but we're gonna always always do the training and and make sure that my attitude, my behaviors, and my actions align with mastering my voice. Mm. So again, mastering my voice could mean acting as well. Yeah, you know? because uh, I mean, you know, a lot of actors, you know, they could sing. Right. And, and so 
okay. You know, maybe you'd be a, a Kiki Palmer, but hey, we, we try to her. see you go both ways. <laughs> you know, you'd be music limit. and acting as yes. well, you know, but you never know. Entertainer all together. <laughs> all together. Yep. And of course, I have to say, I love uh, your image. So now you make sure that you have a signature with your red hair. Yes. What does that symbolize for you? Why you actually chose red? Y'all not gonna believe me, but again, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. God tell you what the red shoes under yes. here. Oh, shoot. I didn't even. Wow. Yeah. You wanna know something? Yeah. I had a dream. I uh. had a dream that I was walking and I had red hair. So, my sister is a beautiful hairstylist. She's amazing. Kamisha, shout out Kamisha at Main Attraction Hair Salon. One of the best hairstylists. She's the only person that touched my hair. Amazing. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, I went to her the following day. So let's say I had the dream last night. And today I went to the hair salon. And she's like, you want to change your hair color? I was like, yes, red. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it was something, it convicted me. Like, it wasn't even a, a question. Mm. And I've had red hair now for, what, two years mm. about? So I didn't even make the correlation between a red hair and a red boot. But I think it's something. Mm -hmm. What? It's something. It's something. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> So is there anything else that you're currently like working on that you love the fans to know before you leave us? Well, again, no, Crop Over is underway, you hear me? So mm -hmm. I'm working on that ragamuffin song. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be crazy, flossy. It's going to be insane. And The Legend of Kendra is coming very, very soon. So just watch out. And all the music that you heard today is available on all platforms. The anthem, which is the Uchiwali rhythm, uh, is going to be on Audio Mac and YouTube. And just make sure that you guys listen. I'm never too ill to say what's up. I'm mm -hmm. never too ill to say what up. Yeah. So follow me on um, Instagram and all that good stuff. K A L L Her Ken. That's Call Her Ken with the K. And I'm just so blessed and happy to be here. Thank you so much. It's definitely been my pleasure. As you know, your family now is One Love Radio. So anytime yes. when you're promoting any single, always know that you can always come back. Once the EP drop, of course, we're going to let Radio Land know okay. so that they could definitely go on and support. And as she mentioned, make sure that you guys go and purchase all the singles. They're available on all music platforms. All right. Follow her on all her social media. Subscribe to her Vivo channel. And also remember when the visual drop, just make sure it's another like, 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 like. Go on her Instagram page. Do the same as well all right support support the artist always say she is our caribbean native all right yes. but she has got international panda rap scene and you hear the clarity in her voice so of course before you leave us i'd love for you to introduce your latest single to one love radio yeah yeah so listen shout out to bake from the five he produced this this is called bet on me and listen that's the best thing you can ever do in your life you'll never go in front of yourself you're never gonna fold on yourself people may disappoint you but you will never disappoint yourself so that's what the song is about so the realest thing i ever did was bet on me